you know, this thing should probably go without preaching by now. Welcome to Ink Singing Monday. I am going to take a slight turn from my usual perk and I'm going to serious at you for a few minutes, so just hang tight. Plagiarism. This is something that still happens all the time. Like, all the time. But it's one of those times that when you're caught, you are caught red handed. You know, without a shred of doubt, that the plagiarists knew exactly what they were doing as much as they try to convince you otherwise. Copying someone's hard work and passing it off as your own is not only an insult to that content's creator, but it's also a pretty heavy offense. This kind of thing can get you expelled from school or even fired from a job. This isn't just a slap on the wrist situation here. As you may know, there is a pretty big name celebrity who has recently tried to weasel their way out of a plagiarism accusation by plagiarizing their apology. What? Who does this? Of course, then he went on to retire from a public life because he did wrong and he knew it. Why is this still a thing? Content creators work so hard on their various projects, be it homework or an essay, an article, a vlog, a blog, a photograph, a piece of art, any medium of content there's room for plagiarism. There's a common saying that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. And I do agree with that, but there's a line. You can only take it so far before it becomes a problem. So naturally, there's a gray area. Like, a Fifty Shades of Gray area? I'm no lawyer, but I can only assume that if Stephanie Meyer wasn't such a totally cool person, she could have pursued legal action against E.L. James for what was originally a Twilight fanfiction that she changed a little bit of characters and a little bit of details and then published it to make money. I don't agree with that approach, but Stephanie Meyer decided that she was okay with it, so that just kind of happened. An example of imitation is that Wheezy Waiter is one of my favorite YouTubers. He's hilarious, I love his quirky way of saying things, and his humor just gets to me. So in the very beginning of the blog when I said I'm going to serious at you for a few minutes, that's a homage to his humor. Another great example is that you may not have ever even heard of Wheezy Waiter other than me telling him to you right now, but I'm sure you are bound to find a vlogger on YouTube that has called the description box below a doobly-doo. That is a term coined by Wheezy Waiter, so is it plagiarism using that word as long as you give credit where it's due? You're not plagiarizing. It's all about the source material, people. So pay homage to your favorite content creators. Just keep it original and make sure you source them. Give credit where credit is due and just be smart. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to enter our 300 subscriber giveaway. We're actually up to like 340. I don't know where you guys came from, but I love it. Keep coming. You're all amazing. You rock. Thank you so much for watching our videos and commenting and keeping us company. You can find the giveaway on our Tumblr, on our personal blogs. I'll post a link to my blog down below so you can enter there. So be smart about your work and stay classy.